I leave Xiaomi's business in India. I'm super excited to be here today. You know, today is probably the biggest and the most anticipated mobile phone launch of the year. And I'm pretty sure Flash they're going to give you a lot of surprises. And you know, when we were planning this day, we said we have to ensure everybody who wants to attend should be able to attend this launch event. So this is our biggest launch event for the last three years. We have a big stadium. We have about 1,500 people here in the room, and we have probably few tens of thousands of feedback people watching us live right now. Here in the stadium, we have about 1,000 Mi fans. All our Mi fans, give me a shout. Uh, we have a few hundred of partners, and we have a few hundred media colleagues. So thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. Especially our Mi fans. I know many of you have traveled a long distance to join us today. And you'd be surprised to know all our Mi fans who are present in here, they've contributed 480 rupees each. <laughs> Why 480? 48 megapixels. Right? So each of our fans have contributed 480 rupees each to join this event. So 1000 Mi fans in the 480 about 5 lakh rupees. So I'm happy to share that they're taking the <laughs> We are taking this money and we are contributing this to Bharat Ki Week, which is an organization for our soldiers and especially for the families of soldiers uh, who died during the tragic uh, terrorist attack. This is in addition to the two crore rupees that Shaw Media contributed to the same contribution. So thank you so much, guys, for being part of this special thing today. So let's start the show. I'll start by telling a little bit about Xiaomi. So, of course, you guys know this innovation for everyone, which means we really want to launch great quality, amazing innovative products and make them accessible so that everybody can enjoy technology. And you know, this has worked really well in India. If you look at the last few years, we have probably become the most loved technology brand in the country. And I'm using my words very carefully, the most loved technology brand. You know why? Because we are now number one across multiple categories. We are number one in smartphones, number one in smart TVs, number one in wearables, and number one in power banks. So thank you so much guys for giving us all of <laughs> Within the smartphone category, we have now been the number one brand for six consecutive quarters. We became number one in Q3 2017. And since then, every single quarter, we've been the number one brand. In fact, if you look at the IDC report for the year 2018, the entire calendar year 2018, we were number one with about 28.9% market share. As per IDC, we shipped about 41 million units. But what is more surprising is, we grew at a whopping 58.6% year on year, from 2017 to 2018. Thank you. And this is incredible because amongst the top five brands, we were probably the fastest in India right now. <laughs> the phone that we are about to launch has not been launched anywhere in the world. So, and to talk about this, I'll call on stage somebody who's more handsome than me. <laughs> Mr. Tom Cruise. Can I get on stage, Mr. Anush Jalla? The head of marketing for Xiaomi India. My main man, Manu. <laughs> Thank you. And a warm welcome to all our partners, our media colleagues, and of course, all our fans. Welcome to the launch of the Redmi Note 7 Pro. The Note 7 will be the Pro. It's a great privilege for me to be here to introduce to you something which I think fundamentally will change the industry forever. It's a landmark product. And not just that, with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are bringing in the pixel camera piece. It's not just that, the Redmi Note 7 Pro redefines the design, takes 
performance to the very next level and of course you've got an amazing flagship camera. Frankly it's amazing what a phone at a truly honest price can do. Let's get into the first part straight away. Design. And with Redmi Note 7 Pro we have gone down up and completely changed our design philosophy. And to look at that design philosophy, I'll play a video. Just take a look. This is where it all began. The first Redmi Note ever created. The beginning of a path-breaking legacy in the world of smartphones. A legacy that has exceeded expectations with every successor and refined and reinvented itself time and again. When we started designing the Redmi Note 7 series, we wanted to take this legacy to the next level. The device has been crafted with the aim of premium design and aesthetic. We wanted to provide an experience so immersive that it truly wows the user, all along ensuring no compromise on functional features that our fans have always adored. And that is what led us to the Aura Design philosophy. The impact of Aura Design is clear at first glance. The symmetric seamless design draws your attention immediately. In your hand, the new note feels premium and ergonomically designed, truly a class apart. And that's not all. We've carefully crafted the bezel, the notch, and the overall user experience to ensure that the new note immerses you deeply into every experience that you desire. What really makes the new Redmi Note an excellent device is its functional design. We've ensured that no small accidents, spills, or drops will ever degrade the quality and performance of your premium device. And of course, we've retained all the practical features that you've always loved. So get ready for the best Redmi Note yet with the all-new Aura design. Xiaomi. all the way to the edges to give you a bezel that's narrower than ever before at just 1.95 mm it's a true engineering marvel and with this new aspect ratio and smaller bezels what we've been able to do is with the redmi note 7 pro in almost the same footprint as the redmi note 5 pro and the note 6 pro we're giving a larger display now it's a 6.3 inch display not just that, with the Note 7 Pro, we have retained and in some cases reintroduced some of our fan favorites. We have the sunlight display. When you go out, the Redmi Note 7 Pro screen enhances brightness, improves the overall contrast, and even to give you a more natural image, adjusts the color saturation. So when you are outside in bright sunlight, it's still a comfortable viewing experience. And talking about a comfortable viewing experience, if it's low light, we also have a reading mode. And this has been certified by DUV, where it cuts off the blue light, improves the overall readability, reduces eye strain, so that when you get that last game or the last game before that night, you still aren't really uh, stressing your eyes. And along with the display, along with the entire immersive nature, is the craftsmanship. On the Redmi Note 7 Pro, for the first time, we have a 2.5D curved glass. And not just in the front, but the back as well. And this is incredibly important. Because this curvature that you get, both in the front and the back, seamlessly blends in with the frame. Giving you this perfect unibody experience. The hand feel on the Note 7 Pro is absolutely amazing. It's something that you do not expect from a device like this. Now, what's also interesting is, and some of the Mi fans, I'm sure, will notice this later, is the flash actually is underneath the glass. It's that seamless overall design. Amazing attention to detail. And talking about more attention to detail, we also are introducing, for the first time, a gradient finish. Now, this is six layers coming together to give you this incredible finish. It's absolutely gorgeous and it comes in multiple colors. Let's take a look at the first one. Uh, 
Now that's the Neptune Blue. Now it looks absolutely amazing with the entire gradient finish coming in. Now another angle for the Neptune Blue and you can absorb this more. Uh, it is a really good device. Uh, one more angle for Note 7 Pro's Neptune Blue color. Now not just that, we've taken the gradient finish to another level. We also have Nebula Red. looks absolutely stunning, almost from all angles that we look at it. And again, you can see the frame is matching with the entire gradient finish. It is an outstanding looking device. Now the angle. Now these are the two gradient finishes that we've got. What happens if you have someone in your team, someone who's a little more conservative, someone like probably Manu. Yeah. For him, these colors are a bit too much. He said it's for the younger people. Uh, I, I do like the blue. For those people, actually not, it, it's actually a really good color. Uh, we are also getting the classic space black. And this is a black that you've never seen before. It's absolutely stunning. It looks classy as well as it gives you this entire vibrance that you expect from the Note 7 Pro. Another angle for the space black. And here are all three colors in the same frame. Absolutely stunning. And I must commend our engineering team for doing an excellent job. Now, these are renders. But what happens is, if when you see this device in person, when you hold it, how does that happen? So we've taken a couple of shots of the phone. Now, the next few images are not renders, these are actually photographs of the real device. Just to show you how good this actually looks. The Neptune Blue, by the way, the color name is also really awesome, as well as the Note 7 Pro. The Nebula Red, now these devices look absolutely stunning in real life. And of course, after this, we should get an idea and we should get a chance to feel these. And of course, the classic black. Now, not just a good looking device, the Note 7 Pro also takes this entire build to the very next level. <coughs> Both at the front and the back, we are introducing Cornelius Gorilla Glass 5. And talking about being a very practical device, we are also introducing a Type C port for the first time. <laughs> and of course, Jack is back. We never get got rid of it. Now there's one more feature which we fans love and none of the other brands have ever provided. Absolutely, only the fans know this. So with the IR Blaster and almost all our uh, Redmi Note devices have had this, you can turn your Redmi Note 7 Pro into a universal remote you can control thousands of devices, TVs, set-top boxes, game consoles, fans, pretty much everything that uses IAM technology. It's something that our fans have absolutely <laughs> loved and we are not giving up on that. So, to sum it up from a design perspective, I'm sure you guys are loving what you saw. The Aura design, all new philosophy, you've got an immersive 6.3 inch dot notch display, with an all new aspect ratio of 19.5 is to 9. You have an LTPS inset screen. Again, improved thermals, improved battery efficiency. You're pushing it incredibly important to all our Mi fans. Right? No? Okay, so before I get into uh, the performance part of it, I'll recap. So we talked about this last time as well. When we are selecting a processor, you look at three key things. Can it run all the apps and games smoothly? Does it have great thermals? And of course, it's a note, it has to give great battery life. So for 
and ticking all these boxes, I would like to introduce to you on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are going to use Qualcomm Snapdragon 625. <laughs> okay. uh, so we really wanted to, obviously 625 has been one of favorite processor for two years. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, a couple of weeks back, we had a little incident. In Andhra Pradesh, one truck which was surprisingly carrying all our 6 to 5 chips got stolen. <laughs> so because we lost all our 6 to 5s, with Redmi Note 7, we are bringing in an all new processor. 710. This processor, is absolutely amazing. Directly. On Antutu, 2, this clocks in at a whopping 1.8 nanos. Trust me, nobody has seen a performance like this in the segment before. In fact, when we compare Redmi Note 7 Pro with the Redmi Note 6 Pro, we have 155 percent the performance yeah, of the It's a massive jump. Not just from a, a benchmark perspective. We tested it time and again internally. Almost everything that you run runs a lot faster. You see, faster web browsing, game launches, <coughs> social media launches, almost everything is much, much faster on the Note 7 Pro. <coughs> so, so these were benchmarks and these were comparisons. So we decided to go a step further. Like we know. said, let's compare it with some really powerful devices out there. And where does it stand? So, we decided to compare it with the Qualcomm 710. And versus the 710, the Redmi Note 7 Pro is almost 17% faster. There's another 710, which is not actually the real one. one. Seven that obviously is much slower. Seven ten to the past. Seven ten to the past. So, what we did was this is and to do. How about some other tests like single core tests and you know multi core tests? So we also went to Geekbench and looked at that. So both single core, multi core. Of course, you've seen and to do. It turned out to be the fastest device that was there. And of course, we've seen. The OPPO R17 Pro that comes from Snapdragon 710 retains for about 46,000 rupees. And the Note 7 Pro beats it by a healthy margin. Why is that? Because Redmi Note 7 Pro's processor uses the latest Trio 460 architecture. Now this uses the same ARM A76 cores as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. It is a truly powerful chip. And this chip that we're using on the Redmi Note 7 Pro is none other than... An absolute phenomenal chip. Running on the Prior 460 architecture, it's an 11 nanometer pen fed process. So it's not just more powerful, but it's also a lot more efficient. And yes, it is an octa core chip. We got to dive a little deeper. Okay. Now, as you saw, Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 is an 11 nanometer. Uh, based on the 11 nanometer film fed technology. It uses the latest Cryo 460 architecture and it is an 8 core processor. With the 11 nanometer chipset or the process technology, you get better thermal, you get better power consumption, and because of all of this, you're able to push the entire performance to, the old, to a whole new level uh, on the 675. Not just that, 
we dive a little deeper to find out why it's so powerful. Let's look at how the CPU works. And in the Cryo 460 CPU, you've got two gold cores running ARM's E76. Now these are super performance cores. And then along with that, you've got six silver ARM, uh, six silver cores which run on ARM's A55 architecture. Now both of these are powerful, but the gold cores do the major heavy lifting. So all your games, all your heavy 3D applications are in the gold cores. While the silver ones are for your day-to-day -day performance. So whether it's social media apps, whether you're listening to music, whether you're browsing, these silver cores step in there. But not just that, obviously we are also interested in gaming. And then we've got a all new Adreno 612 GPU. And this GPU, when combined with the gold cores of the Cryo 460 CPU, take gaming all the way to the next level. Lesser frame drops, but also an overall smoother gameplay. It's absolutely amazing, and we've tested this amongst all the latest games. Uh, a few of us got chicken dinner as well. <laughs> the next part of this amazing chip is the Spectra ISP. Now this obviously is incredibly important because this has been engineered to support a 48 megapixel camera. Right? And of course you remember our tagline. Uh, not just the the 48 MP camera, but it also has better depth sets and a hint for the latest slide, it also supports 4K video capture. And the last part that I want to talk about here is it comes with an all new DSP, uh, the Hexagon 685, which has much better AI processing and hence that also adds further to your camera experience. Overall, this makes the Snapdragon 675 SoC, which is, as you saw, really powerful. And, and we've combined this with up to 6 GB of LPDDR4X. Now we know LPDDR4X is the fastest RAM available for mobile phones right now, and you get that on the Note 7 Pro. Not just that, but for the first time ever on the Redmi Note series, we are also introducing a 128 GB storage variant. Now, if you combine this, you've got a super powerful Cryo 460 CPU, an all new Adreno 612 GPU, and up to 6 GB of DDR4 extract. You've got an amazing gaming machine right in your hand. But that's the hardware part. We've also made optimizations when it comes to software. In fact, we are running MIUI 10 based on Android Pi, and from a performance point alone, there are more than 20 different optimizations that have been done. But, just to highlight a few, uh, from a log free critical part and codependent prioritization, uh, it's able to run everything a lot more smoothly and push this entire system to a whole new level. IMX 586 sensor, the largest, highest generation sensor ever put on a smartphone. And we take it to the next level with a wider F1.79 aperture. It also supports 4K recording and an all new night port. Now, of course, from a portraiture perspective, you've got a 5 megapixel depth sensor, and you saw you can get an amazing portrait shot with the AI scene detection and portrait 2.0. In the front, we've got a 13 megapixel AI front camera, which does AI yeah, face beautify, uh, scene detection, face unlock, as well as a studio lighting selfie. That's coming pretty soon. <coughs> now, Note 7 Pro, a lot has changed. From the Note 6 Pro, we have, of course, changed the camera. Uh, it moves to a 48 megapixel camera with the 5 megapixel depth sensor. Now, uh, the super pixel is a 1.6 micron super pixel now, giving you amazing low light photography. Even the aperture, the aperture is bigger, so it lets in a lot more light, giving you a lot more details. We've used the all new Snapdragon 675. 
pushing the overall smartphone performance to the next level. We saw it is 17% faster than even the Snapdragon 710. We got an all new immersive design. We got 15 uh, 19.5 to 9 top notch display. We got Corning Gorilla Glass 5 both in the front and the back. And this glass is curved beautifully <coughs> that fits into the frame. We've got quick charge force supported. We've got an all new Type C first for the Redmi Note. We've got 4K UHD recording. We've got EIS and of course a noteworthy 4000 mAh battery and dual SIM, dual multi. It's not dual SIM, dual SAT, but it supports VSD. So, 48 megapixel camera beast in all these glory. Again, to recap 48 megapixel Sony IMX 586 sensor. Absolutely incredible. You saw the results. It is a flagship sensor that we are putting in the Note 7 Pro. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 675, giving you flagship level gaming experience. It's got dual quality on that last file and all new gradient design. Looks absolutely stunning. It's got a 30 megapixel AI front camera, an all new immersive dot notch display, which is 6.3 inch full HD plus, and a noteworthy 4000 mAh battery with quick charge force support. So, let's take an overall look at the product to a product review. Snapdragon 660. 
So we decided to test how the Note 7 performs versus all of them. The Note 7 is on an average 10% faster than any of these devices. And you guys know why? Any guesses? Unlock variant. The unlock variant is because none of them were actually giving you a proper 660. All of them called out 660. They wrote about 660 in their product data sheets. Uh, you know, they had the media page given out saying it's a 660, but in fact it was a 660 Lite. And you get 10% lesser performance with that. In fact, me fans, if you know anyone who bought any of these devices, you should go and ask them to ask the brand to get their money back. At least 10% discount. <laughs> so with the Note 7, you get a proper high performance Snapdragon 660. Uh, so these are obviously 660 Lite. We also decided to compare the Note 7 with some of the other recently launched devices. So you saw the Honor 10 Lite running up here in 710. And there's a couple of Samsung devices that use the same processor, the Exynos 7904. So both, both these have different price points for the same processor. So we decided to compare with these as well. Uh, of course, you know what the result is going to be, right? It's a Redmi Note. There's a massive difference. In fact, Not only does it outperform the Kirin 710 by a margin of about 10%, but there's an almost 30% gap when you compare this with the Exynos 790. I don't think it's really fair to compare these two. Now, it is a note, and we talk about performance. Of course, you expect a 4000 mAh two-day battery. And like the Note 7 Pro, the Redmi Note 7 also gets support for Quick Charge 4. <laughs> Moving on to the next section. The Redmi Note 7 camera. Now we gave a few of our new fans the Redmi Note 7 to go and test. And they came back with some incredible snaps. Photographs like this. Now this is a portrait shot. It's absolutely stunning. You can of course see uh, Xiaomi's semantic segmentation working perfectly, but even the detailing that you see on the subject is absolutely on point. It's off of Snapdragon 660. Of course you've got the immersive top notch display. It is a 6.3 inch full high definition plus display and it still has Gorilla Glass 5. This is probably the most awesome device. This is a flawless device. Every single thing that you guys ask for, they will try to incorporate this in the game of 72. A 48 megapixel Sony 5 x 5 x sensor, Snapdragon 675, which is even more powerful than 710. It has a glass pack, not a glass looking plastic, but a glass pack built. Uh, uh, what, uh, Gorilla Glass 5, 4000 image battery, overall a great, great <laughs> And he, uh, comparing this device, of course, we believe there is no right comparison. But we just picked up two or three devices which we thought were somewhat competitive. We have Honor View 20, which is the only other phone with a 48 megapixel Sony IMX 5x6. Then we have Vivo 15 Pro. Which is the only other phone with Snapdragon 675. It also had a 48MP camera, but not a Sony IMX 586 sensor. And of course, we have Samsung M30, which is called our system. Now, the last one, I believe, is no comparison at all. Because, as I mentioned, the uh, processor 7904 really cannot be compared to any other processor that they're using. It is a plastic bag that is running on Android O and many other things. So what do you think should be the price of Redmi Note 7 Pro? Sorry? Okay, I think it was clarified which memory limitations. So we have two memory limitations. The first one is 
for years, whenever we used to have a meeting, and we used to say, which is the problem that we should launch? We used to say, meeting. So we introduced meeting we last year, and in a short period of six months, we became the number one smart TV plan in the country. Dwara TV launch So we have been the number one smart TV plan for last three consecutive quarters. In fact, during the month of October during the month, we sold more than four lakh TVs, close to five lakh TVs in just one single month. And to the best of our knowledge, no other plan has sold four or five lakh TVs in one month, including Spark and launch up. So probably if this is true, probably we were the largest TV plan during the month of the month. So we just launched two new TVs in the beginning of this year. The 4X, 55 inch, 4X, 55 inch, and 4A Pro, 43 inch. So happy to share that we are launching our third TV of the year here today with all of you guys. And we are launching new LED TV 4A Pro, 32 inch. So, what's new with this? This comes with the latest M1 64 bit processor. Of course, this is an Android TV, which means you get Chromecast, you get Play Store, you get YouTube, you get everything, and you also get Google Assistant. And you have a mini remote, a Bluetooth mini remote, that you can operate from any angle in the middle. This has been launched at an amazing price, the one is like $1.99. And this will be available across the mobile phone, the home stores, and flip flop. Now, when we launch these two TVs, we launched a new category, which was soundbar. And we sold tens of thousands of soundbars in just a few days. And we really want to build this auto entertainment category. And hence, we are launching the fourth product of the day. And to introduce this product, I'll show you over the next video. Yeah, who's going to? 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 Who's going to?